Hi, I'm Dave, and over the next several weeks, Charles and I are going to be taking a look at Fluke's brand new line of handheld measurement equipment. It's called Fluke Connect, and it takes normal DMMs that we all know and love, as well as some modules that are, have dedicated measurement capabilities, and connects them over Bluetooth, not only to themselves, but also to an iPhone, which acts as a bridge to the rest of the world. We're going to be taking a look at how this performs in not just the lab setting, but also how two different engineers in different locations can work together on the same project. So with that, let's take a closer look. So here are several of the units that are available with Flute Connect. On the left here we have a standard multimeter that can take many different measurements, and then we have four units that do dedicated measurements, AC current clamp, DC voltage, K-type thermocouple, and an AC voltage. Of course we also have the iPhone which will connect all of these and let's take a look at how this unit performs. So my favorite thing to do with new test equipment is to power it on and see how easy it is to just take a measurement. So let's get started. You know, Obviously this is going to come on and you're going to be able to get a voltage reading, no problem. And the three of these units we turn on and they'll all do their thing. We have zero amps, zero volts, and 18 degrees centigrade. Great! So now let's take advantage of Flute Connect. How easy is that going to be? Now this will act as a base station unit. So you're going to have this unit connecting to the three of these and displaying all three measurements plus its own measurement on the screen at once. A handy little thing to have? Great! So we put this in. I'm going to look for other units. We put these in discoverable mode. Give them a moment to figure out each other is there. Start blinking, saying I'm looking. Takes a few seconds. Bluetooth LE. Let's see. There we go. One, two, three. It's got a number one, a number two, and a number three. And this is unit one, this is unit two, and this is unit three, as shown on the screen. So I want to take a look at all the measurements. So I'm going to select 1, 2, and 3. And you can either wait or you can just hold down this up-down button and it'll go into measurement mode. Awesome. Zero volts being read on this 3000. Zero amps on this clamp. 18.7 degrees on this thermometer. And zero volts DC on this. Easy as easy can be. Now normally I would expect Fluke to hey, say, hey, we got these all connected by Bluetooth, next generation user interface, great, we're done, let's sell it, and let's see why people won't buy it because it's not really a connected or a new user interface. If they stopped here, I wouldn't be surprised, but I would be disappointed. But that's not the case at all. They went and they made an app so that you could benefit from an iPhone or an Android phone and still be able to take data there. So let's move on to that next stage. Okay, so now we've got the more advanced use case where we're going to want to use Fluke Connect's app on the iPhone and three of these, the same three devices that we're using before. So let's power these guys on and get them ready. We're going to go in and immediately put them in discoverable mode. There's one, there's two, there's three. Boy, that's nice, that happens fast. So I can select all of these guys. There's one starts to blink to say okay there's my AC current great and then I can add a second device the DC voltage great and then I can add a third device the temperature reading wow that's pretty easy to get started here so I've got AC amps millivolts DC and degrees centigrade that's pretty good. It's taking logs of all the data and I've got it on my phone. Wow. Five seconds. Don't need any manuals. Don't need any help. Now there is a sign in for this app that you have to go through when you're opening it up and that's not just so they can get your information. That's so that you can have a username on their Fluke Connect I guess server and then you can connect with other users and share data. We'll go into the, all that later. But this shows very quickly that we can get these three devices connected, see some data, and even visualize it. I love it. Okay, so just pulling things out of the box and getting to the work, they passed the test. We were able to connect the base station to a bunch of separate units, and we were able to connect the iPhone and take data with multiple modules. Awesome. I was a little disappointed that I wasn't able to get 
the DMM to connect to the iPhone, but I guess that's a limitation we'll have to take a look at closer in the future. For the next steps, we're going to start looking at data logging. We're going to look at sending the data from here to Charles in a totally different location and how he can send data to me. And we can collaborate on one really cool project. Stay tuned. It's going to get neat.